for this word. We thank you for allowing us to be partakers of your word. We thank you for allowing us to be hearers of your word. And Lord, we thank you for allowing us to be doers of your word. Thank you for your word, Lord. Thank you for your love. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. I was given the scripture, 1 Corinthians 2, verses 5 to 13. And my title for today is, Out of This World. So if you have your Bibles, let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 2, starting at verse 5. 1 Corinthians 2, starting at verse 5. And it reads, That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Let's stop right there. Mankind will let you down. Smile in your face, laugh in your face, talk behind your back, make promises, break promises, so forth and so on. But there is somebody that I know. There is somebody whom I serve. There is somebody whom I love that I know will not let me down, that I know will not talk about me behind my back, that I know will continue to lift me up, that I know will continue to preserve me and set me apart according to his purpose. I know somebody who laid his life down for me. I know somebody who was willing to do exceedingly abundantly for me, and that is Jesus. Your faith or your trust should not remain or shall not sustain in men, but in the power or the admonition of the Lord. Put your faith and set your affections on things above. Your faith should not stand, your wisdom should not stand in the, in the power or the hands of men, but, but in the will of God. Let's stop worrying about our own perspective. Let's stop worrying about our own viewpoint. And let's look with our spiritual eyes and say, Lord, use my eyes so that I can see what you want me to see. Right. Hallelujah. Verse 6. Howbeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world that come to naught. This wisdom that we speak is not of this world. Hallelujah. You see, man's wisdom is different than God's wisdom. That's right. <laughs> you see, they, they always say it's a funny statement. that says uh, somebody with gray hair means they are very wise. But that's not true because I done seen some gray-headed dummies that don't serve the Lord just because they choose not to. Can you believe the world and the society that we are living in today that will change the truth into the lie, that will serve the creature more than the creator? Hallelujah. Verse 7. Let's read verse 7. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. Hallelujah. Even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory. This wisdom, these words that we speak, this love that we're proclaiming, what are we saying out of our mouths today? Are we speaking the word? Are we being instant in season and out of season? Are we praising his name? But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, the word says. Speaking what we said, speaking and believing, speaking the word of truth, believing the word of truth, obeying the word of truth. You see, God's truth is different than what I may say is the truth. God's thoughts are greater than my thoughts. His will is over my will, so I live for him. Let's, let's read on, let's read on. Verse 8, which none of the princes of this world knew, for, they, for had they known him, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. When Jesus was standing before them, and they asked him, are you the son of God? If Jesus really showed his hand, they wouldn't have laid a finger on him. Hallelujah. But it wasn't so. It wasn't. That wasn't the way that the Lord wanted to work out. He said, you know what, my son? I'm sending you down to die for their sins. I'm sending you down so that you can bleed on that cross and save them from their own problems. Save them from their own damnation. Hallelujah. This damnation didn't just come, but we, we caused it on ourselves. Because of the disobedience by one, many were made sinners. But, but because of the obedience of one, speaking about Jesus, because of his obedience, because he was able to remain steadfast, because he was able to remain unmovable, because he was able to obey his will, obey his Father's will, many were made righteous. Hallelujah. The Lord has many beautiful things that he's prepared for us. 
He has a window of blessings waiting for us that we won't even be ready to receive. Let's read on in verse 9. As it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard. Let's, let's pause right there. We've only seen a portion of the most majestic and beautiful things that our Lord Jesus Christ can do. We've only heard a portion of the things that he is able to render unto us. We are only getting, we are only walking in a snippet of how great and how majestic our Lord is. Amen. Because eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, our hearts can't even compare. Our love isn't even great enough to compare. Our thoughts are not great enough to compare to what he has for us. Hallelujah. I, read, I, I, I heard about a, something called a Christmas praise. Hallelujah. And, and what the Christmas praise is, is you're thankful for the things that are sitting underneath the tree. Hallelujah. You see, the children are so excited to unwrap the gifts and say, thank you, mama. Thank you, mama. Thank you for all the gifts that they got underneath the tree. And, and next thing you know, all the gifts are right out. But, but mama just said, I got something that's outside. For you, I got something that you can't even imagine waiting on the outside. I got something that you have never seen before. I've got something that you've never understood before. I've got something that you've never heard before waiting for you. Mm -hmm. So many times we're so stuck looking for our blessings underneath the tree. But God said, I got something bigger than that. I got something greater than that. I got something more powerful than that. Hallelujah. We got to be ready to get out there to open that door because he opened it for us. Mm -hmm. And the doors that he opened, man can't close. Yes. Mm -hmm. Try all you want. You can get all your mighty men of valor, push as hard as you can, but you cannot shut down what God has ordained. Mm -hmm. when, when Peter was arrested and the, four, and the quartarians of men were around him, and, and when he had when they had slept beside him to the point where they that he could not even move. Hallelujah. He was caught up in a situation and looked like this might have been his end. But you know what? God said an angel, he said, he smote him on the side and said, Get up. It's time for you to go. I got a door. The gates are waiting there. They're gonna open at your disposal. The gates are waiting for you. But you gotta be willing to walk through them. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. We can't even compute to the things that God has for us. We can't even compare to the things that God has for us. A natural person or, or a worldly person won't understand the things of the Spirit. Amen. So it is our job, the believers of Christ, it is our job, the ministers of Christ, to preach the word, mm -hmm. to be instant in season, out of season. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. If you read over in the next chapter, it says, it says, wisdom of this world is foolishness to God. Mm -hmm. So what they think is smart, it's not so smart. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. You can say, oh, I know all about cars. I know how they run. I know everything about them. But if you don't know how to put gas in a car, it's going to profit you nothing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Wisdom of this world is foolishness to God. Mm -hmm. So this tells me that we need to have godly wisdom. Not just wisdom, because earthly things will only get you but so far. But godliness mm -hmm. is profitable unto all things. Mm -hmm. Godly wisdom. Mm -hmm. Wisdom that's not of this world. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. The thoughts that we have, these, these imaginations that we have, these limits that we have. The Lord has no limits. We said up time the sky's a limit, but but if you believe in God, if you have faith in God, the only limit that you have is yourself. Amen. Doubt. That's right. Because in God, with God, and for God, all things are possible. Yes. We are yes. like sheep going astray, and he is our shepherd. Hallelujah. Yes. He is our Alpha and He is our, our Omega. He is out of this world. The things we speak, the names we proclaim, the love that we have, the love that we've shown towards one another, the world. Don't be of the world. Mm -hmm. If you get swallowed up with the world, you'll die with the world. Hallelujah. Okay. Have you ever heard of a school of fish? A lot of fishermen know this. Uh, a school of fish is a, a certain amount of the same species that swims, or even mixed species, that swims around in one big school, never separated, always sticking together, following each other, seeing the tail, just going with the waves. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And, and when a fisherman knows 
It's time to get some real fish. He takes his net and he throws it out in the midst of the school. So when the net sinks down, it collects all the fish that were in the school. What I'm saying today is don't follow the crowd. Don't be of this world. Stand out. It's good to stand out. It's good to be different. Mm -hmm. Because there are some species of those fish that know that when they see a school of fish, they know they better get the other way. You know why? Because the bigger the school gets, the more people they get, the more the gold trimmings they get, the more lovely cars they get, the bigger houses they get, the greener mm -hmm. grass they get, the target is being bigger and bigger on their back. Mm -hmm. Getting bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. Now the predators are going to come in. And swept them away. The devil's going to come in mm -hmm. and just get rid of them. He already has them. Now he's got them right where he wants them. Mm -hmm. But it is our job to proclaim his name. It is our job to 